All right, so we received a request, a comment, that somebody that said they would like to see uh, how well the uh, Arsenal does with panoramas. Now, I don't think you'd want to just buy the Arsenal for doing panoramas. And I know we've kind of maligned this uh, little gadget. I thought it was overpriced. And uh, for what it offers, uh, I think it's $399, I believe that. I'll let's, put it down here. When yeah, I let's just say 400 but I, I'm yeah. pretty sure you're co very correct on that. Yeah. The problem is, is that it doesn't do terribly. It's not terrible, but it's not great. Yeah. And it also kind of makes you lazy because... Well, it's yeah, yeah, you're not going to learn if you're not doing the yeah. uh, things yourself. And then supposedly what this is intended is to take over. You plug it into your camera, assuming that your camera is supported, and it will supposedly do all the settings based upon what it sees, based upon an AI model. Now, we weren't impressed. No. Just quite. I guess the analogy. We just right. weren't impressed. I guess the analogy I can give is that it's like. Shooting raw versus shooting JPEG. Yes, and we JPEG, actually, you don't have a choice. It decides what colors. Raw, at least you have a choice. And with this, it takes a lot of the choices away from you and does it itself. Yeah, and our previous, um, our previous uh, attempt to, to use it <laughs> when we were out doing a sunset, and we also did the same sunset ourselves, selling our uh, using our own settings. And basically, I thought the settings that we did personally looked as good or better yeah. than those that came from the arsenal. So I'm going to put a thing up here that you can go ahead on YouTube and go and check that out. And um, so anyway, somebody got a comment and said, yeah, you did the uh, the st focus stacking. You did the sunset and you did the basic review of the automatic camera settings. I guess that's what we can call it. But we didn't do panorama. So we're going to so, do it. Well, yeah. Since somebody asked, well, just ask and we will obey. Jim, <laughs> so let's hit it. We're going to go out to the field right now and give that a shot. Okay, well, here we are at Pop Stencil Park in sunny Palm Harbor. Yes. And uh, this, as we had mentioned, we're doing this as a, uh, a spe special favor. Somebody <clears throat> commented on the YouTube channel that they would like to see us do a panorama using the arsenal. with the arsenal so we're out here we're going to do so that we listened so here it so is so we did listen yes we did so <clears throat> i've got the arsenal loaded up and i've got my iphone and so what we're going to do i need to move this here i'm going to take and zoom this in just a bit here so um i'm going to make sure that this is straight we're going to be doing a panorama, which means that what we're going to do is we're going to take a series of shots and uh, we're going to have to move the camera until we're finished. And then supposedly my understanding that the arsenal will take and stitch this together for us. So I've got this loosened up. We've got our plata, plata ball head here. And um, so why don't we go ahead and do this? Are we ready, Fred? Let's do it. Okay, well, I'm going to hit the start button here. And it took a picture. So the next thing I want to do is, and we want to have at least a 30% overlap. So I'm going to take and move that to there. I'm going to do another one. That's the next shot. You might be able to hear it with the shutter releasing. And another one. For some reason, it's giving me a no overlap. Now, I don't know why it's doing that. And then I hit done. So we're going to crop it, level it, and save it. I'm not sure why I was getting a message up here that was saying and there was no overlap because I was giving it a, an overlap. Stitching high resolution panorama. So let's see what we got So it's here. doing its thing. Saving. And, well, there we go. Let me do one more here. Okay. 
You want to go the <clears> other <throat> way or you want to start with the same one? Um, let's start with the same one. And let's All do right. it a little bit further, just a little bit bigger panorama. So I'm going to do this over again and uh, go to start. So I, I guess that took one picture. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to take this, uh, this overlaps here. It's interesting that the camera temporarily goes out of focus. It's out of focus right now. Whew. Why aren't you focused? Well, that's weird. Okay. Well, it lost its focus for some reason. Yeah, every time it shoots, the focus jumps. Now, the arsenal's controlling the camera here. I don't know what that's all about. It's out of focus again. Um, see what it says? Mm -hmm. saying no overlap. That's weird. Okay. We're going to do a big panorama this time here. How about one more? Because we've got the sun coming in over here and going down. Okay, so I'll get a hit done. I'm going to put level in auto crop. Hit the save. And the interesting thing, Loading I, images, I, I've got some three, of you out four, there saying, oh, you five, must have left it on manual focus. Six, no, he said the no, camera it's, on autofocus. Yeah, yeah, it's autofocus. It was every time we take a picture, then the focus would uh, jump. jump for yeah. some reason. In fact, they may see it because I'm going to post it. I'm recording my phone screen here. So now it's stitching high resolution panorama. Saving. And and there we go. That's that can't be the one I just did. Because that one, one is out of focus. Yep. So once again, I'm not sure if uh, well, maybe we should do, maybe we'll go the other way. And I see where I we... I think it's still... we got to move this in here or... I think it's still taking uh, shots. No. No, it would do it from here. Let's go up with it because I'm getting this. Either yeah. that or it's, it's struggling to focus and that's what I'm hearing is that the lens um, mechanism focusing. Here. Let's do this. I'm going to turn the, the focusing off and so it's on manual focus because it did come out uh, it blurred there. Okay, everything now is, you want to hold my phone there? Mm -hmm. It's kind of crooked. So we got to straighten this up. The boats are returning for the day. <laughs> there. Okay, we're going to let this, actually it might be interesting to see what happens if the boat's in one of the shots where we're doing it. It might show up several times, so let's do that. We'll start here, over here. Here we go again. My final one. I'm going to go ahead and, uh, okay, well it said it took a picture. So we'll go over here, see that that's got a, oh I see what it's doing, it's got a, Okay, there it says no overlap. Okay, so that's no overlap. Okay, I see. So watch as we go, see it goes over and over and over and over mm -hmm. and over until it goes no, no overlap, overlap and then I go back. back off. Aha! Yep. I think you're good there. All right. So he's actually seeing it through the phone. He's not looking through the lens viewer yeah. at all. So I'm going to say hit done, and I'm going to auto level and save. One of the things that I thought this might be interesting for would be to, um, for 3D work like in Blender, like I like to do, often you want to have a total spherical uh, that you could put if we were right. wanting to put in a real mm -hmm. scene, this might be good for that. Okay. However, again, I don't think that's something that a lot of people are going to need. And again, to spend $400 to do that, you can do that with your camera. So here we go.
there we are. Well, at least that one came out and was in focus. Yep. <laughs> and we got the wake from the, the boat there. <laughs> but no boat. It's an invisible boat. Now, the arsenal can do invisible boats. <laughs> I think it was just out of the shot. At that it was. Point. It was out of the shot down the stream. So there we go. Anyway, there is the arsenal does do and stitch these together. And at the end of the podcast, or at the end of our video, I'm going to put the results and let you see them. So, yeah, keep tuning in and leave your comments and suggestions or requests. We'll be more than we'll happy to We'll be glad to, to listen and, and answer them. Mm -hmm. Thank you.